What's going on everybody? It's Dimitri from FlexRC and today I've got a very interesting uh, competing products in front of me. Uh, this uh, Calyx uh, Turbo EOS 2 and uh, Rankam uh, Racer Nano. Uh, let's compare them and see how we we'll like each of them. Let's go! So Turbo EOS 2 and uh, Rankam Racing Nano uh, have very similar specifications. Uh, let's uh, open uh, their boxes and uh, see first of all what is included. Uh, so in the Cadex one what we have, uh, it's a standard uh, insert and there we have uh, the camera. It's so tiny actually if you will look at it, it's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's like that small. And uh, another piece is uh, two screws included with it. All right, and then uh, with a Rankam Racer Nano we have, okay, here's the camera hiding. <laughs> Looks very similar, look at it side by side. They're pretty much the same two cameras. Obviously are not exactly the same. Uh, the, a case looks uh, slightly different and uh, Rankam uses metal inserts for screws uh, so it should work better when you install it. Uh, the plastic shouldn't break. In this case it seems like... Yeah, perhaps there are also some inserts but they not uh, noticeable here. The length is... So here it says it is uh, 3 megapixel 1.3 uh, size and there is RC18M. So you can see the difference between lenses. Uh, Rankam has a little bit uh, wider or thicker border, so perhaps it will be slightly better protected uh, versus uh, Cadex one. At the same time, Cadex has a little bit bigger lens, what appears to be. All right, so we've got scales here, and uh, first we are going to weight Cadex. Uh, the weight is uh, just under 4 gram, 3.88, uh, with the lead. And the Rankam is 4.7, so it's uh, 1 gram heavier, which is interesting. All right, so my plan is to use Ascent X uh, 2 inch uh, with uh, these uh, cameras. So first I will install uh, Cadex and I will fly a little bit around. Uh, this model has a DVR on board, so I will be able to record without any noise. And uh, second, I'm going to try Rankam and do exactly the same. Uh, they seem to be very compatible between each other, so it should be easy for me uh, to switch them and uh, I think that it will work with exactly the same connector as I already have uh, with uh, Rattle camera. While installing the cameras into S and X, I came across uh, first uh, differences between uh, these two and the difference is that uh, Cadex uh, EOS 2 is actually narrower than Rankam Nano. The Rankam Nano width is exactly 14 millimeters and EOS 2 is actually around 13 and a half millimeters. Uh, you would think uh, it won't make much of the difference but actually it did a huge difference during installation. So first of all the adapter which came with uh, Rankam Nano didn't work perfectly with uh, Cadex EOS and I also had to use slightly longer screws in order to have it installed. I've got camera installed into Ascent X uh, 2 inch and it fits nicely with the included adapter which came with Rankam Nano. It works really nicely and uh, I think it's a nice bonus that Rankam included it with the package. So next step, we are going to take it for a flight during the day and at night and compare uh, performance of two of these cameras side by side. So first of all, let's take uh, Cadex EOS 2 for the flight during the day 
and then compare it with the performance of rank um, um, nano during the day. So the first thing that I noticed while flying EOS 2 is that its resolution is much lower than a rattle camera for example. So you can see it in your goggles right away you have uh, much more grains and the detail is not as clear as with a rattle camera. Uh, it also has a slight tint of pink uh, which I noticed and it was a little bit annoying uh, although it was acceptable and I was able to fly without a problem uh, during the day. Rankam Nano has the same kind of uh, lower resolution as EOS uh, 2 and uh, it has even uh, bigger grains in my case uh, with a little bit uh, different uh, balance of white and how it handles uh, brightness. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the image is uh, fairly acceptable and I think on my eye it looks a little bit better. It doesn't have a weird pink flame uh, like uh, Cadex had. Now let's check uh, flying uh, during the night and see how these two cameras perform and uh, if they can handle night flying at all. So first of all, uh, Cadex EOS uh, seems to show something uh, on the screen when you fly at night. At the same time, it's really hard to distinguish objects which are not uh, highlighted really well. So I would say it's uh, quite a bit of uh, inconvenience to fly with it at night. I had like hard time figuring out if I can see where to fly and I didn't feel that confident flying it at night. On the other hand, Rankam Nana got me pleasantly surprised and then was really amazed that I was able to fly at night and I was able to see uh, the areas that I wasn't able to see clearly enough while flying with Cadex camera at night and I would say it qualifies for flying at night. Obviously, it's not as good as uh, a Rankam uh, Micro Eagle or a Rattle Camera from Cadex, but at the same time, for the size, I think it performs fairly well. And I was even happier with its night performance uh, versus day performance. So perhaps if you have a nano drone with uh, 40 millimeters and smaller propellers, then it will make much more sense for you to consider these cameras. I would like to take the obvious winner, which is Rankam Nana, in my opinion, uh, for a spin. So let's take it to the field and have a FPV flight with it. All right, all right, all right. So now I'm at the field with uh, Rankam Nana installed in S and X2 inch. I think it's a perfect fit, and let's see how it will fly. Wasn't it fun? I enjoyed it so much. I think Ascent rips it on 2S and 3S. I think 2-inch models are really underestimated. They perform flawlessly. They have so much power. 
and it's just amazing to fly so easy to control you don't need too much space you allowed almost anywhere in the world to fly them but other than that I would say I love this camera I think it performs quite well somehow it changed into darker mode for me when I started to fly I have no idea what's the deal with that perhaps it detected some uh, different lighting condition other than that let's go to the studio all right and we're back to the studio i hope you had a lot of fun watching this video and you learned something new today i'm going to write links in the description of this video so feel free to check them out if you are interested if you like my videos please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell button in order to get notifications when i upload new videos it really uh, helps my channel and motivates me to work for you uh, also if you have any questions suggestions if you have experience with the cameras yourself uh, please do not hesitate to leave a comment below and let me know about it i will respond to each and every comment and uh, on this note i wish you all the best happy flying and see you later